From the glossy brown hair and polished makeup to her impeccable wardrobe, the Duchess of Cambridge is rarely less than a vision of elegant perfection. Or is she? For eagle-eyed observers have noticed a certain nude-colored accessory has become something of a staple in the royal wardrobe. No, not Kate's nude leg Bennett pumps, but rather a flesh-colored sticking plaster. A small one was most recently spotted on the right royal thumb at Chelsea Flower Show earlier this week coordinating seamlessly with Kate's camel-colored culottes and cream shirt. A slip-up with the shears perhaps? A scratch while making a few final tweaks to her woodland playground? Maybe. But it's far from the first time Kate, 37, has been seen sporting a plaster. Left hand, right hand. Everyone's favorite green-fingered duchess might be better known as Calamity Kate. The previous time a plaster could be seen on the royal mitts was in November, when she had a small circular patch on the middle finger of her right hand at three events over four days. Christmas Day, 2016, and what's that covering the end of one thumb on the same hand as her famous sapphire and diamond engagement ring? Then there was a time in November of the same year when she sported a larger rectangular patch on the back of her left hand. There was much speculation at the time over whether a certain limelight-hogging feline was to blame. Namely the star of a street cat named Bob, who Kate had met at a film premiere the night before. For those who have debated the respective merits of fabric, they stay put better, over waterproof, prone to coming off but more versatile, plasters. It should be noted Kate appears to show no preference, wearing both. So just what is going on? A habit of picking hangnails? Not likely with those pristine manicures. It certainly provoked speculation on Twitter from a bite from pet cocker spaniel Lupo to gardening mishaps or accidents in the kitchen. As we all know, Kate is a keen gardener, with sprawling grounds at both Kensington Palace and Enmer Hall, in Norfolk, so she could very easily be a bit accident prone when pruning. She also has three children under the age of six, so is fully immersed in the world of endless hand washing that every parent of young children will know though she does have a nanny and, one presumes, an army of help around the home. Whatever the cause, it is likely like Kate's wounds to remain under wraps. Given she has to shake so many hands, she might just be covering up tiny grazes that anyone else might leave exposed to the elements. But Dr. Anton Alexandrov, a spokesman for the consultant dermatologist and British Skin Foundation, says, wearing plasters isn't that helpful, because the skin doesn't breathe as well and it takes longer to heal. As a mum, you are washing your hands all the time, so it is important to moisturize regularly. Using moisturizer is the best way to heal a scratch. Failing that, Kate could always take a leaf out of the Queen's book and wear gloves.